still do not believe my robot's been destroyed after I came back here ever since 6 a.m. in the morning. And I gave those four gentlemen some millions of dollars ever since I gave them a one last chance to finish their night shift. But follow up if I should have known. They actually survived the final night. Like how did they even actually survive? Were they very lucky all night? Or did they even cause a lot of trouble during their final night shift? Perhaps, it must be both. That explains when they actually survived before 6 a.m. in the morning. Did they really stupidly think that I assuming the robots did something very clumsy or purposely? Did Ink Blue, Green, and Octomi slip or trip from the water? Did Ink been covered by the orange liquid from somewhere else? And lastly, did Golden Ink Blue just stab himself with that knife on purpose? No, we didn't. Those four smart idiotic gentlemen just destroyed my robots by using something that is too dangerous like water, including sharp objects that they threw a knife and it aimed through Golden Ink Blue's heart. I should have tried to trust in them after I came here for the confusion. But no, they said they gotta report me to the police and let them take me away forever, and they'll shut down my company permanently forever too. But it doesn't matter. I'm very lucky that I'm not going to prison, but not that much lucky. The robots I created was ruined by those four smart idiotic gentlemen. But if I ever see them again, will they ever see me again? I will never, ever, talk to them again, permanent for the rest of my life. My apology, Ian Blue, was that too heartless for you and your friends? didn't mean to be so angry in front of you. I was very upset. Please accept my apology, friend. You my only hope in my company, friend. Um, good afternoon. What are you doing here? Are you a trespasser? Or a cop? Perhaps I would say, you must be a cop. But if I know any better, I would say, why are you here for? Do you have a warrant? Did you got it called by somebody else that you've never seen them before? Yet it doesn't matter. Please don't arrest me. Don't turn me in. I have my lovely wife that is still living, and I have two younger kids, and a one older boy ever since they've passed away. So please, don't take me away and putting me in the slammer forever. I'm begging your pardon. I'm just the innocent, delightful, kind businessman officer. <laughs> oh, you. Are you trying not to believe that you I am? No, I don't think so. It's just me, really. Wait a second. I know that voice. Hmm? Just you, Cassie. I thought you were a cop trying to arrest me and then take me away forever. I humbly apologize, honey. It's okay, Willie. You know that I'd never leave you left behind, right? But it's been a while ever since this week of your evil malicious plan for your robots trying to kill the witnesses will burn. But speaking of your plan, did the witnesses die yet? Because the person who works here died in the first place, right before we hide the body down here, so... Did they die yet, old bird? Well, actually, honey, the answer is... no. <coughs> what? Why, old bird? Why did Ink Blue and his friends didn't kill the witnesses, Willie? Well, because, honey, take a good look at them. Ink Blue and his friends doesn't look so good today. Oh my goodness, what bird? What happened to them? Well, bird, they didn't get wet or splashed through the water. And did you give them a waterproof before you start hiring people? You haven't forgot, did you? Well, it's not what it looks like, honey. I recently didn't give them a waterproof before I start hiring people. Including five days ago when I introduced the four gentlemen ever since I met them and hiring them in the first place. And the most importantly, Golden Ink Blue got stabbed through by the knife after they threw it. But at least he's not wet or splashed. Am I right, honey? Well, okay. But there's one last problem. Ikira been covered by...
by the orange liquid. I don't know where she covered from, but I don't really know that's orange vomit. I sniffed it after I cleaned her off. That's all. Well, Bird, Anton, I can't really believe that you forgot to give your blue and have seen some waterproof before something dangerous happened to them. Except Golden Ink Blue, Carl's you say that he got stabbed by the knife after they threw at him. But this is all your fault. My goodness, honey. I've never seen you yelling at me before. Yet it doesn't matter. But you're right. It is my fault. Not that we say. But let's just set it to fix the problem, shall we? Step 1. We're gonna call construction workers to build a new pizza pot list. It will take a couple hours while they're building the new location. Step 2. We're gonna replace it with Blue and his friends after they done building the new location for us. And final step. After we put the old slab crews away, you and I will build the new slab crew. As together, honey. Cause you and I used to be partners when we were much younger in elementary school. But still, once we're all done for the second location of Pizza Potless, we'll be back in business again, honey. Yet I promise, honey. I promise that I give the new ink blue and his friends some waterproof before something dangerous happens to them. Humbly promise. Hmm. All right, silly Willy. You have a chance to make a secondary business of ink blue's pizza potless. But you better not screw this up once we get our occasion back. Of course not, my dear. I will not screw this up for you, cause I'm making you proud until you stop being upset with me ever since the first pizza potless was ruined by the four gentlemen. You bet we did, cause otherwise they were so lucky that you gave them a human choice ever since your plan and your last were defeated. But also though, I apologize that I slap you and yelling at you a bird. I wasn't supposed to be upset with you. I'm supposed to be upset with them. Cause they ruined everything you say right. It's alright darling. Being mischievous is more fun than murdering people honey. <laughs> now you're talking a bird. <laughs> Alrighty then. Now that we're dealing with our problems today. It's time that we make a request with outfits and textures for the new robots before we start creating them. Oh really? We're making the request about the new robots looks. That's so brilliant. I was thinking we should make their skin lighter. They'll be shiny as the new improved buddies for everyone. Yes, thanks so sweetheart. Cause I was thinking we should put makeup on their faces so they can be much prettier until the kids would be more happy. Like eyelashes, freckles. And then their cheeks will be blushy. You call them pretty, cause it would be a lot prettier after we put the new eyes in the new robot's eye sockets, right? That's correct, honey. Some of their new eyes would be beautiful, until their new eyes could change itself to be horrifying after we put kill mode in it, right? <laughs> How spooky you remarkable, Willy? You think that's horrifying? It would be much horrifying when I put love mode into the kill mode together. That should be my motto. Harassment is horrifying. Get it? <laughs> Very splendidly. But before we make it, let's build the new and improve Rick Blue and his friends. Also, I'm thinking we need extra performers. It's gonna be two performers. Just be patient after we finish create the new slide crew, my dear. Yes, sir, my bird. I guess it will take few months while we prepare the second location of the new and the post pizza podless. But in the aftermath, we're gonna hire another people once we're done prepared. Right. <laughs>
was just another day at the house. Among Wild Blocks is watching FNF on his TV. And his, and his phone is ringing. And you got a call from Georgia Asteroid. Georgia Asteroid is calling. So that he picks up. Hello, Among Wild Blocks. How are you and your phone doing today? For me, you won the Mortal Kombat game by using your fatality moves on that fighter. But since you won, I just scanned your joints of your fingers and your thumbs while you playing the arcade. You have 100% moving skills of your metal particles and your challenges. You can exercise in your hands all times have the you high for me. Among Wild yeah. Blocks comes downstairs. Why, there, me. Me and I were about to come upstairs to watch Friday nights at Funkin' with you for sudden. But right now you just came downstairs to check with us to see that we're having fun here. Is that what you're doing, Among Me? Are they been planning something for today? Did they planning the movie that we're gonna watch on Netflix? Cause my favorite movie is The Mitchells vs. The Machines, you know. Okay then, what exactly you wanna tell us? They oh think that they're going to have a date. We can not believe George and her friends including us having a triple date during afternoon. This is gonna be the best wonderful date ever among me. Sure thing among me, I will be helpfully check our bank account to see how much money we all had. So we can afford one place we all go is very expensively cheap. So I gotta check among me bank account, my bank account, and hyper me bank account. But you too can just stand here and watch while I pull in up our bank account to see how much money we all had, if you don't mind really. Yes! Let us begin! And but... Oh, no, guys, our bank account has lower cash, which means we're not having a romantic triple date with Georgia even Toxic Hattie for a while. She... They have a problem that because they have lower cash. For a triple date, I guess. Well, since we don't have enough money for dating, I guess the three of us should go somewhere to relax and look around in public. Right. Five hours later, they're just sitting outside. And 
Hyperwild Blocks and Among Us Lop Blocks are standing in the tree, and Mario Wild Blocks is sitting in the front of the tree. Well, my dearest clones, I guess I have made a stupidly suggestion. My idea is too helpless for not making things cheerful, you guys. Not particular among me, we're here, because we're trying to think how to get more money, like thinking the job you pick until you really want it. Oh yeah, maybe you have a point among me, you're absolutely correct my dearest clone. Um, among me. Yes. I recently realized something, why are you not sitting or leaning? Oh, okay. Oh, and three hey. girls just you're came just here. Been. Georgia, even Toxic Caddy, what an honor. Expected to see you joining with us to have relaxation from the park girls. Hi, how are you? All right, ladies. Please calm yourselves, and please, do not be so mad at us today. The reason why we did not answer is because we had lower cash. What? What do you mean, boys have lower cash? Of course, my dearest clone. The three girls are surprised that because they have low bank accounts. Indeed, my dearest clone, sorry we had to show you how much money do we have for cash. We just don't want to wash some dishes since we don't have enough money to pay our bill in the restaurant. But however, we understand you're mad, but you will be much mad if we have to do dishes too long in the evening. Really? What did you, Georgia and Toxic Addy, admit it? Well, since you're saying that you boys have lower cash, me, Georgia, and Toxic Addy have lower cash too. Ah! Wait, what? You girls have lower cash too? This is much hopeless now. Like, how much lowest money do you even have? Well, I had $70, Georgia has $30, and Toxic Addy has $20. So now we're even. And that's why George called among the loud blocks that you boys have higher cash. But you said you have lower cash, just like us we have. Well, since the rest of us have lower cash today, what else should we do today? Is it nothing but having relaxation all day? Interpreting vague answer is just monitor loud blocks. We have no choice but sitting in the house all day for chilling without doing anything. Yeah, and we're really sorry for being upset with you boys. We thought this day would be so romantically perfect till we spend time together as the triple couples. But right now it's cancelled. We have nothing to do but having relaxation and home all day, if that's what you really wanted. It's for your own decision, boys. Sorry. <laughs> Good gracious, my dearest clones, we have really done it this time. We felt so sorry to them. There's gotta be a way to fix our problems. But 
They heard a voice. That must be Wilbur and Cassie. Oh, why, hello, random citizens. Were you overheard our conversation for a sudden? Pretty obviously sure it's none of your business, okay? Why shouldn't we, sir? We're only listening to your conversation for a couple minutes. My wife and I are just about to stroll in from the park after you and your kind friends start chatting. Is it money we presume? Cause you're saying that you and your kind friends don't have enough money for buying something that is really expensively cheap. Right. You heard him. But don't be a frack. We're not here to knock you. We're here to say, first off, let me scotch this for a minute. We forgot our manners. It's not very polite that you randomly show up for a particularly no reason. We apologize. But anyway, before me and my husband introduce, y'all saying something about the different jobs, right? Yes. <laughs> well then. In that case. Are you trying to fork a job with Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, or some other places that serves pizza, without any performers they had? No, we don't think so. You can ask me, Will Bird and Tron. Or you could ask me, Cassie and Tron. We'll be honored if you work with us instead, cause you can work at it. Ingram's Pizza Potless. Come along and be a part of their teams if you want to survive. Ooh, interesting. Pizza Potless, I never heard that place before. Is it like the animatronics that could sing and dance in front of all these kids, especially their parents? Is that correct? Precisely, Monitor Guy. Ink Blue and his crew, also known as Green Kankira and Red Enemy, are the greatest performers ever. They'll have so much fun with you and you're gonna load it alright. <laughs> and you're also gonna meet the secondary performers. There's two of them. Balloon Fresh Fish, he gives balloons to the kids, and Agent Net, she'll come out from your music box and do the fighting skills action to the kids. And then lastly, we have many Splat Crew action figures, they do their quotes and they have many weapons to shoot at you, but the pink shooting is actually a car like it's mini balls. But don't be scared for sudden, they don't bite, but trust us, we promise they don't bite you on violently purpose. But sometimes they would, right? <laughs> and but some of them are shocked because did you say that? Are you acting suspicious? Don't get smart with me, young man. What I mean if they would, it will never happen to you. They're just toys. Just don't put your fingers in their mouths, okay? Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Now that you folks agreed on Ink Blue's pizza pot list, you folks are now hired. Your job is to be security guards to check every areas by using the tablet. During midnight, you'll get paid a lot, on five conditions. This week you'll work at one through five nights. But once you finish by completing your night shifts, you'll earn the huge raise. Huge raise, that's certified for all making a deal. We would love to willing to check the animatronics all night. Indeed, my lover, giving us a huge raise will fix our problems to getting our romantic triple dates back. This will work until the six of us becomes rich after we finish one through five nights. This should be easy. <laughs> we'll see about that, but there's three rules at Ink Blue's Pizza Potless. For real, what are the three rules at Ink Blue's Pizza Potless misses and Tron? Well, one. Camera 8 is disabled. My husband and I don't know what's wrong with it, but we're pretty sure it will not be enabled this week. 2. Make sure you look at those three signs while you folks searching every area as you go. And 3. Make sure you wind up the music box. Agent Matt loves to listen her melody too, don't you think? <laughs> We understand that should it be hard while we're working at midnight. We promise not to break the three rules, Mr. and Mrs. and Tron. You folks better be, cause otherwise the first pizza potless was shut down long time ago. But we trust you folks. Yeah, 
but don't try to ask us why our first creation been shut down permanently, we're just letting it go, no questions for us, but anyway, we're not gonna hold you up, we just came by for a reason in case you will meet us again, you folks have a good day, and good luck with your night shift tonight, goodbye. Okay, that was another weird one when they just said it. I gonna have to remember the first one when she just said it and the second one when they just said it. It's going to be in my memory collection. Okay, ladies. Pokemon your Roblox. Meanwhile, at Ink Boost Pizza Polis. Open the door and they came in. Indeed, we are my lover. But speaking about the excitement of the first job, we're gonna have to stay focused and behave ourselves tonight. We're gonna start working at night one until we do night two next. All we have to do is check every area, including the animatronics, by using the tablet from the office. And however, I logically believe one through five nights should be easy to watch the animatronics all night and every night this week. Until the six of us get a huge raise after we finish five nights in the row. Nature will allow blocks. This first night wouldn't be that bad. This would be a piece of cake. <laughs> Will be Georgia, as long we won't be able to break three rules since after Melissa's and Tron told us not to. But new Flash Boys, everything in this place is successfully peaceful during every midnight this week. And Toxic Honey, aren't you excited for the first night shift during midnight too, my dearest clone? Splendidly remarkable hype for me. Well, I guess we better start working our first night shift. Hopefully nothing can get any weird or strange during this first night. Right, ladies? Right, And but they were going to the office and but Ink Boo's eyes just moved. At night one, they're using the they're using the security cameras to check on them. You see, ladies, I knew this first night of the job would be easy as a piece of cake. Indeed, it is. Every areas we checked are perfectly fine, including the Clone, can you be a commander just for this week during every midnight? Cause Mrs. and Tron told us that we keep in the music box, wind up while it plays the melody too. Don't worry about them over there, those two couple will be just perfectly fine, and you should be worried about the music box, don't you among me? They 
Thanks for your own suggestion, my dearest clone. All right, George and Eve, let's check the show stage one more time, and then the rest of us will join in with Hypermi and Toxic Abby. Okay, ladies? They turn off the cam. Well, the camera was off, but something is wrong with the camera. Or perhaps the battery in the camera from the show stage may be too old. Oh really? Well I'm not definitely sure. If the battery is dead, it can't be that old too quick. Maybe the camera got disconnected. Sometimes the Wi-Fi service could be an attack from this place by particularity. Eve, you and I had to go to the area where Ink Blue and Hero and Pre Ink was on the show stage and then check with them to see they're alright. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Indeed it will, and Georgia, I recently changed my mind about among a me suggestion. I really think it's your turn to keep pushing the button, okay? Sure thing monitor mailbox. Cause otherwise I'll be worried or being shocked about his index finger or going on eventually. <laughs> What happened to the Splat Crew? Did the burglars just break in and stole the animatronics from us? Really? I don't think the robbers would be able to steal anything during midnight. Not to mention, where did the Splat Crews go? Usually they always standing on the stage all night and every night. Clearly, but you obviously think the robots could hide somewhere from this area. No, we don't have time for their games. This is serious. There's no time to play hide and seek with them. We don't wanna get fired on the first job of the night shift, sweetheart. Don't be fretting about the first job that the six of us had. You should be worried about Ink Blue and Hero and Green right now. Oh, you're right. We should be in charge to protect the Splat Crew, including this place. Inkara and Green are coming to those night guards. Okay then, but we're only doing that just for one night. But if we found those burglars trying to steal the animatronics from us, we're calling the cops afterwards. We will make And they hurt the animatronics oh. and they jumped up! Hey, what was that noise? Nah, it's probably nothing. And but oh, sorry, did we disturb you for seven? What? They those animatronics grabbed Eve and Martyr Lab Blocks. Oh, there you are. We were starting to looking for you, but you too decided to give us a horrifying surprise, don't you? Oh no, Green. We almost gave them an error attack. This is very bad. I know. They need to get some help today. Plus, I've never seen this kind of attractive robot girl in my entire life today. Clearly, and I've never seen this most important perceptive computer fellow in my entire life either, Greek. How mystifying. But right now you're scaring us with your eerie eyes. You're not trying to kill us, are you? <laughs> Don't be a fret, buddy. We're not trying to kill you. You're not. Well, thank God, actually. For a minute there, we thought just for a second that maybe you two were gonna force you to be my gloom, and he'll force her to be his bride. Absolutely. I sorry, what? Ever since after you and her, including the others entering this place, Greek and I fall in love with you two. And you two should be lucky to have us. We will be together with you two all night and every night this week. But before we make promises, we haven't start the wedding night. Hey, Ink Blue, can you be the priest dude? Sure thing, and but Let us Toy Ink Blue just moved to and the two grooms to that get a kindness. book. He made favor yes. with his help those whom, and he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. In the sight of God and no witnesses, I now pronounce the boyfriends and girlfriends. You may now kiss together for this week. <laughs> Time to pucker up, lover boy. And but Toy Gara and Toy Greek are gonna kiss them. <laughs> and but they literally screamed, and they heard something. <laughs> and but the two of them are hyperventilating and panicking. 
because of the kissing. Yeah, we heard you guys scream into the hallway. Is everything alright while you guys checking the spot crew on the stage from that area? Negative, Georgia. We need the light entering the area where the stage is at. The splat crew disappeared. We don't know why they disappeared in the first place. We were just getting started to search them, but all of a sudden, Greg and Dinkara jumped scared behind us, and the worst of all, they were harassing us and trying to kiss us. It's true. We saw what happened, especially in Blue, was the eerie's too. Are you sure about that? Positive. <laughs> But among wild bots, turn on the well, camera. Did you see and but them? are they still horrifying while they're on the stage? What? Because they're still at the stage. No way! Impossible! How did they swiftly change their eerie emotion back to joyful emotion before we tell the truth? I don't even know how they changed themselves quickly, but they were supposed to be erased. I guess you're right. I think me and her are acting delusional in the first place. Sorry for the confusion among me. Um, but... Among Wildbox picked up the phone, and it was 6 a.m. Oh my god! They did it! Right now, it's morning time along me. Plus, she has stopped pushing the button on the way since we finished. Sure! Phew, for a moment there, I thought for a sooner than the wrist is going numb. Alrighty then. Eve, should we tell Mr. and Mrs. Entron what happened during the middle of the night? about these eerie robots. Negative. If we tell them what happened, they don't believe us too. We're gonna have to be calm from now on, without letting them know if we're acting so frightened, okay? You're right, but I doubt so we know if they don't believe in us after we tell them the backstory. But still, as long as they won't be acting so eerily again, or else the other night from this week will be much worse by illusionism. Not saying we're being delusional, but we're seeing things that are real, don't you, sweetheart? Yes, I do, babe. Yes, I do.